James Clark Maxwell, born in the 1930s in Edinburgh, studied at both Edinburgh and Cambridge universities. Dying at only the age of 48, with groundbreaking results in all areas of physics, he turned himself to. James Forbes, Maxwell's mentor, was experimenting with colour light by using a circular pie chart with three colours on it, which spun together to try and merge together to make white light. But he used red, yellow, and blue light, which came to no success. Maxwell, on the other hand, tried using red, green, and blue light, which was successful in creating white light. Maxwell's research with red, green, and blue light to create white light is essential to the way that the human eye works and how LCD or CRT monitors all work today. When Maxwell was invited to London to speak in the Royal Institute, Faraday, he was asked to display his spinning disc to a lot of people, but his spinning discs were far too small, so he decided to create a trichromatic photograph, which is working with red, green, and blue wavelengths of light, which form together to create one colour image. Since 2015 is the International Year of Light, 150 years since Maxwell's discovery of the dynamic theory of electromagnetic fields. We find it fitting to recreate his work here on trichromatic colour. We have done so using three projectors projecting different wavelengths of light through colour filters, which then combine together on the wall to create one colour image. An object's colour is based upon what light an object itself can reflect, so an orange object will only be reflecting orange wavelengths of light, and a red object will only be reflecting red objects of light. When you get things like black objects, they seem to absorb more light than others, and white seems to reflect an awful lot more. Okay, when we are talking about wavelength, electromagnetic fields, and light itself, we are talking about physical processes which are happening into the real life. But when we're talking about uh, perceptions and uh, the human eye and human visual system, we're talking something about uh, physiological processes which are going on into the brain of the humans, which is still something we don't quite understand. Years after Maxwell's demonstration of the trichromatic image at the Royal Institute in London, and several years later his magnificent paper, The Dynamic Theory of Electromagnetic Fields, scientists alongside with photographers are working to continue his researches. Therefore, the first color multilayer film was introduced in 1935 by Kodak Company. The principle comes from the same trichromatic theory of mixing red, green and blue photosensitive emotion layers, photography, technology and even astronomy start to progress extremely fast after Maxwell, as many others after him, gave his life for the advance of science. For the last eight decades, the world was introduced to a completely new, brighter and more colorful way of perceiving using our senses. And that is just the beginning.